What made you realize that you aren't young anymore? Story 1. Watching The Bachelor Bachelorette. The people on the show always seemed so much older than me. Now they all look slash act slash are so young. Story 2. Finding out that some of my newer co-workers are 10 plus years younger than me. I'm only 33, but finding that out not too long ago really hit like a truck. I know 33 is still relatively young, but for the longest time, I was always the youngest among my co-workers at the various places I've worked at. And it felt like it'd always be like that. As silly as that sounds. Story 3. I'm Asian. And in my language, based on your age, they will call you by different pronouns to express their respect. So I realize I'm getting old by the increasing number of people who call me elder sister or even aunt. Story 4. Having cancer surgery at 60. I have had quite a few surgeries in my life and always bounced back. But this time I can't seem to get my energy back. I've always liked to keep busy, but now I've had to slow down. Story 5. A teenage girl called me ma'am. I grew up in the South, so we're all about manners down here. But never in my life did I think I'd wake up one day and have someone less than a decade younger than me call me ma'am. Edit. And just for clarification, never have I ever felt ma'am was an age thing. Until this happened, manners are manners. And I was raised to refer to everyone as ma'am and sir. I cried on the way home that day and asked my husband if I looked old enough to be a ma'am. He reminded me that we do have several children and a mortgage, so theoretically, I don't look like I'm 18 anymore. Story 6. I'm 11 years older than my brother. He'll be 30 next year. I remember when he was small enough to fit in my hands. I used to change the little bastard's diapers, and he's a been a whole adult for a decade. Story 7. Other people. I know many consider me young still, and probably will until I'm a senior citizen. But for the first time, I feel like people see me as older slash wiser than them, regardless of if that's true. Like in situations, people seem more likely to turn to me for no other reason than I'm older. It kind of made me realize when I was a teenager, people in their late 20s seemed like they knew what they were doing but probably only had a tiny bit better of a grasp than I did at the time. Story 8. When I worked with 19 and 20-year-olds that had never had a job and spoke in weird tongues, I still don't fully understand what Riz means. And I'm only 32. Story 9 dropped item on floor. Pick me up. Brain. Yes, pick it up. Body. Don't even think about it. You don't need that thing anyway. Me. I pick it up. Body. Here, have this painful crick in your back for the next six days. Listen to me from now on. Story 10. My body hurts for absolutely no reason at random times. I'm tired all the time. I can't stand teenagers, and I'm starting to see some smile lines by my nose and mouth. Story 11M33. Bought my first pair of sweatpants ever. Things hurt in the morning. I'm craving an ice-cold glass of water at night instead of alcohol. My heartburn is off the charts from simple foods. I'm tired AF. I'm wanting to read. I'd rather listen to an audiobook or podcast than music. I'm thinking of making my will. I wrote my own obituary. Friends have dropped off the face of the earth. I'm trying to save more money. I don't care what people think. I get excited if I can sleep in till 8. We have two kids. My kids reminding me every day that they're priority. I enjoy mowing the lawn and snow blowing. Christmas is more about the people than presents. Grilling food is fun. I'm calmer. I'm working on my patience. I'm wanting my kids to not be like their grandpa. Love my dad, but don't agree with how I was raised. I'm enjoying each day with my wife and two boys more than anyone knows. Story 12. LPT for getting older. Over 50 here. Stop talking about your age and how your body looks. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll realize how much time and energy is wasted on numbers, age and weight, aches and pains, and how much people blame age and not their own inactivity. Some of my friends have been old since their late 20s, and it just gets boring to listen to every problem they have is age-body related when in reality they're just scared to do new things and or their couch potatoes. Story 13. Just seeing how different the younger generation is now and how you've become the older crowd who doesn't understand the younger crowd like it was for the older kids when we were young. Story 14. I ate something and went, ew, that's way too sweet. Then I remembered something my dad said when I was a kid and I told him there was no such thing as too sweet. He said, you'll understand when you're older. Damn, I guess I'm a man now or something. Story 15. When I became eligible for Social Security. Financially, it's great, but dang, I'm a senior citizen. While running a road race and with less than a mile to go, I catch up to some late 20-year-old whippersnapper. We chat and he asks how old I am. I tell him and he says, dang, I hope I can still do half marathons when I'm old like you. Not what I really needed to hear at that point. Story 16. 
The seeds of oldness are planted at a surprisingly young age. You don't realize it when it happens. You don't even think of yourself as old when it first happens. It starts oftentimes in your teen years or 20s with something new coming out. A song, a new slang term, a movie, a video game, new fashion, you name it. You immediately think that it is the dumbest thing ever and suspect that it'll be dismissed as such by your equal-aged peers. To your surprise, it doesn't immediately go away. People are actually talking about it. Well, that's okay, you say to yourself. It's a flash in the pan. It'll be gone and forgotten in a couple of months. But then a few months go by and it isn't gone. It's only gotten bigger. It trends in online discussion. Maybe it even makes the news. It's going mainstream. This stupid, ridiculous thing that you never thought could be given a second thought is somehow popular. You don't think of yourself as old in that moment. But the seed of oldness has been planted. This is only the first of many times you will be disconnected from the new in thing. Eventually, it will happen so many times that you can deny it no longer. You aren't with it anymore. The road to that realization is slow and does not come with that initial dumb thing. For me, that initial thing was Minecraft. When it first came out, I was in 8th or ninth grade. I don't remember exactly. It was in the middle of the PS3 slash XB360 generation when high-fidelity graphics was still the expected norm for most every game that comes out, save for the odd Wind Waker or handheld Nintendo game. If you wanted your game to be cool, it had to look good. Minecraft spat in the face of that and looked worse than games released in the mid-90s, and even dumber when it released there was basically no content for it. No single-player story mode, no NPCs, no dialogue, nothing. It was basically virtual Legos. I thought that there is no way that someone would pay actual money for a game that makes you do the devs' work for them. User-made content is good, but only if it's like Little Big Planet or Halo's Forge mode or Tony Hawk's user-made levels. It only works if the user-made stuff is in addition to a fully-fledged game that stands on its own. Or so I thought. I realize now that I took the L on that. Minecraft is here to stay. My opinion on it hasn't changed. I still think it's stupid and don't see how anyone likes it. At least Fortnite is free and lets you shoot people. I at least understand the appeal even if I don't like it either. Minecraft will always baffle me and serve as a sign of how oldness starts and how it creeps up on you. I didn't consider myself old when Minecraft came out. I was maybe 14 or so. But looking back, that was the initial spark. The first of a long list of things in popular culture that simply didn't appeal to me. The first steps on the road to oldness. Cue the Grandpa Simpson I used to be with it speech. Story 17. I took a nap in the middle of the day. I hadn't been up unusually late the night before. I hadn't had a particularly hard morning, but I stretched out on my bed and fell asleep. I've been an insomniac for five decades. Always tired. Always sleep deprived. Not anymore, apparently. It's a nice change. It makes me happy to be aging if this is the side effect. Story 18. My knee hurts like bitch, only in early 40s. It honestly scares me because I am very fit and active, especially outdoors, and sometimes it's limiting. Orthopedic consult suggested PT, which I did. Didn't help. Now she wants to do an MRI. Haven't decided on that because I don't want to find out anything beyond me thinking it'll miraculously go away. Story 19. When I watch Jimmy Neutron and I find it cringe and silly. I used to love every character's before, but now I dislike their looks and big heads with small body. Story 20. I'm 38 M. But when I was 24 was Ty first time I noticed it, doing a night shift at work and stopping by Tesco's on the way home to get coffee, walking down the aisle and physically gasping and getting excited to try a new Colombian type. I had a flashback to all my years partying and the drugs and the women. I sighed and paid, went home and really enjoyed that coffee, actually. I accepted my fate there and then. Story 21. My cousins are fixing to go to college and starting their lives. And yet I still see the little guys running around causing mayhem and destruction. Story 22. I've got a picture of Dorian Gray thing going on with celebrities from my youth. Especially the child and teen actors who only pop up once every 10 years or so to really catch you off guard. Story 23. The realization that Dragon Ball Z Kai, the revitalized version of my favorite show as a kid that got me back into the franchise full force, giving me the chance to watch the show in Japanese for the first time, and also giving me a brand new way to introduce people to the franchise thanks to its stellar English dub, will be 15 years old on April 5th. It also would have been Akira Toriyama's 69th birthday. Please do me a favor and watch Dragon Ball and DBZ Kai sometime. They're both on Hulu. Rest in peace, Toriyama-sensei. Story 24. When I flew into an airport and was waiting for my bus, one of the buses was going to a college town, 
and the bus driver asked everyone around me, College kid? I knew it. Hop on. Story 25. Anyone 20 years younger than myself just automatically hates me now, even though I've never done any of the things they blame on older folks. I never played the market, never fought a war for oil, never owned a home, voted progressive my entire life, never even bred. Exactly zero young lives were negatively affected by mine, but somehow I am the most contemptible villain ever, and there's nothing anyone can say otherwise to clear my name. Story 26. Heartburn and other moderate digestive consequences from eating certain things and volumes of things that I had no problem with eight years ago. Pizza and red sauce is the biggest culprit. Also, chocolate gives me heartburn now. Story 27. When I remember when my favorite childhood movies, games, and video game consoles came out 10, 20 years ago. It's even worse when I remember how old my girlfriend was when I remember things from when I was younger. An easy example. Star Wars Episode 3. Revenge of the Sith, released in 2005. I was in middle school when it came out. I'm 32 now. My girlfriend was 5 when it came out. Story 28. I loved swing sets my whole life. In fact, my local public pool has one, and it was really the only thing I was interested in as a kid. Now I'm an adult, and all the families that had kids my age are either not coming or are now taking their own kids there. Now there's even families I've never seen before. It feels weird to be a grown-ass adult swinging on a swing set with so many families around. It's calming, though, and de-stresses me. I imagine that families don't exactly feel thrilled about letting their kid near the adult who comes to the pool to swing on the swing set. So I stopped going. And it felt too weird. I was assured that since I was a member for years and a lot of people knew me that nobody ever really took issue with it. Because there was always someone who was like, Oh no, that guy's been a member since he was like six. He's always done that but still it feels weird as an adult. Story 29. I was chatting with a woman at a bar and having a really great conversation. I had not intended to ask her for a phone number when we started talking, but I was really enjoying our chat and thought, why not? Figured I would ask at the end. We got on the topic of our ages and I realized I was technically old enough to be her father. I had 14 years on her. I'm 37. I felt it would be too much of an age gap. She looked younger than me, but not that much younger. I placed her late 20s, very early 30s. It was a bummer. Story 30. People whose diapers I changed are having babies and changing those diapers. Music I heard in clubs is now remixed into Muzak. Cars I drove in high school are considered classic in my state. First-run TV series I watched as a teen are hosting 25th anniversary specials. The clothes that were trendy in my high school are back to being trendy again. Story 31. Everything hurts all the time just doing normal everyday stuff like turning my head, standing up, laying down, reaching for a glass of water, meeting down too fast the time my shoes, throwing my elbow out, moving dishes from the dishwasher to the cabinet. Plenty more examples. Sorry, 32. Few days ago I was playing darts at the bar and I was looking at a guy across the room and thought to myself, damn that guy's like about my age, let's make friends. Then he said he was in his 30s and I thought, oh, so you're old. And then I realized he's still only a couple years older than me. Story. 33. All my friends are busy now. There's less time to talk. Some have also tried to not be here anymore. We aren't happy with the world. We have seen more of what goes on now. Mostly we're all so busy or dealing with mental health that we can barely talk much. Story 34. I've always been a tough guy. In terms of being durable and fairly physically strong. Not like a thug kind of tough guy. Back in 2022... I was working on a project that involved carrying heavy gear to remote areas. I was 30. The next oldest guy in the group I was working with was 24. Long story short, I busted my ass making sure I wouldn't buy the guy holding things up. And two years later, my knees are still feeling it. I'm lucky it's just discomfort and a little soreness. But it was still a serious wake-up call that I'm not as young and spry as I was in my 20s. Story 35. The younger people I worked with suddenly seemed different somehow. Like they had a different frame of reference. I realized in that moment they were a different generation and that a shift I somehow hadn't anticipated had happened. I was probably around 33 or so at the time. Story 36. I went to a bar I used to go to when I was 21. Hookup culture and cheap drinks were the norm. I hated the whole atmosphere immediately when I walked in and I thought every person looked like they were 13. That was my damn I'm an official adult now moment. Story 37. I'm definitely not considered old, but I'm starting to feel myself grow up. Recently got a real job, graduating high school, graduating tech school, started looking for houses, or more accurately apartments because I cannot afford to buy RAN. 
and all this stuff seemed so far away just a few months ago. Story 38. If memory serves, it was 2011. I was teaching a middle school age Sunday school class at my old church. I was teaching on the book of Nehemiah, which starts with Nehemiah learning the walls of Jerusalem had been broken down. Nehemiah, living in the Persian Empire and away from Jerusalem, expressed his absolute utter sorrow. I was trying to communicate his feelings to my students, and I described his feeling as that pit-in-your-stomach kind of feeling that basically everyone had when 9-11s happened. I then asked if they remember that feeling, and none of them did because they were too young. Story 39. A specific moment where I realized I was old, getting old. Last winter, a group of teenage boys were walking past my house and threw a snowball at it. Heard it hit the house and saw it on my cameras when I checked. I furiously ran outside in only my boxers and boots with a short wooden bat I keep around for home defense and chased these three asshats for two blocks in minus 40. I remember swearing to myself all the way home saying things like, fucking kids these days, and so on. I was right up on them. But I had a moment of clarity about how that would have played out, with me in jail for wailing the absolute piss out of three teenage boys, and I gave up the chase. Jokes on them, though, because their generation will likely never own houses or property. Typing that out and rereading it also confirms to me that I am, in fact, old. To be fair, that was probably the most exciting thing about that particular winter. Still makes me laugh now, 